Oh, look who woke up, everybody. Where are you? Where are you? You're back in the car. Let's take a look at the good, the bad, and the beautiful of driving Model 3 around the entire country. The first good thing I can say about this car on this trip is the overall performance of the car is absolutely amazing. It's super comfortable. It drives really smooth, fast. It, it just drives better than any car I've ever driven. It was really easy to charge and plug in and keep the car going. There were a couple of moments where it was really touch and go and we got down literally as low as eight miles left on the battery to a destination. All right, here we are. We got 63 miles on the battery. We still have 50 miles to go. We are two miles away. We have 12 miles on the battery. There it is. There they are. Boom, look at that. That was because we were really pushing the limits. Uh, I was, she wasn't really pushing the limits. Another positive with this road trip, the range of the battery. Having over 300 miles of range made this trip a breeze. I'd say the other really big plus with this car that might surprise people, it certainly surprised me, was the amount of storage in this car. There isn't a ton under the hood, but there's enough. And then the trunk, it's just, it's tons of room in the trunk. And then there's like a little smuggler's level in there where you lift this lid and there's just a ton of space. The number one feature I'd have to boast about with this car for a massive road trip is the self-driving. Being able to get on the freeway and engage autopilot, uh, set a destination, having the car automatically changing lanes, it just took a lot of the stress and pressure off of the day-to-day -day driving. There's no way we could have driven 20,000 miles in 100 days without the autopilot. Another huge plus for the Model 3 on this road trip. Okay, we just hit 300 miles. That cost us 91 cents. The savings. We spent $174.50 to go 20,000 miles around the United States. So we got 22 cents. We just hit a minute. And in one minute, we got 14 miles. 15 miles. A gas operated car would have easily been over $1,500. And on top of that, you would have had at least six oil changes in 20,000 miles. We didn't have that expense either. So the savings driving fully electric versus gas, there's just, there's no comparison. That's it for the good. Stay tuned for our follow up where I cover the bad. I can't imagine what goes on in her head because some days we'd be in the car for 13 hours, other days, you know, a couple hours. And right now, I don't know if she thinks that we're gonna be in here all day or if we're just going on a little, little side trip. What do you think? You going on a side trip? <laughs>